this sentence, it is high time I go to the gym. Quite often, people make a mistake here and they don't realize that they are indeed making a mistake. Whenever you say high time, it is followed by past tense and not present tense. It is high time I went to the gym, it must be, and not I go to the gym. Okay, so for example, it's high time I studied for my examination. It is high time that Ram quit smoking. Here, quit is the same in present tense and past tense. Okay, so it is high time I went to the gym and not I go to the gym. Hence, C is the erroneous part here. Look into this. The board of directors act as a governing body. The board of directors is the subject. Act is the verb. The board of directors, although directors is plural, the entire subject, which is the board of directors, is singular. Okay, so the S here has to come here. The sentence should actually read the board of directors acts as a governing body. So B is erroneous here. Look into this. Hermione and Ron want at least two days or more to complete their course. Here again, people have problems identifying the very obvious error here. Hermione and Ron want. You don't have a problem with the subject verb agreement here. Plural subject because they are two people. Want. There is no S. That's not a problem at all. Now look into this. At least two days or more. What do you mean by at least two days? Two or more. Am I right? What do you mean by two days or more? At least two days. Correct? So, you have either at least or more. Having both is redundant. You can do with just either. Okay? So, you can eliminate perhaps or more and have at least two days or two days or more eliminate at least. So, C is the problem part here. Okay, now redundancy is something that we commit on a day-to-day -day basis. I will revert back to you. Return back the money that I gave you. Return or revert in itself means giving back or getting back. So back as in return back or revert back is actually useless. It's actually an error to say so. Okay, careful users of the language refrain from doing that. Now look into this. The Avengers formed a team that fight crime. The Avengers is plural. There is no doubt about that. Formed. Only if it's form you have the do I have an S or I don't. Uh, that kind of a doubt. But then it's past tense so it's all the same. Okay, so forget this. A team that fight crime. Now, when you have such a sentence, split it into two sentences. The Avengers formed a team. Full stop. This team fight crime. Okay. So, does it make sense here? This team fight crime. No, it should be this team fights crime. Am I right? So, whenever you have a complex sentence, break it down into component sentences. Just say it aloud you will obviously spot the error. So, that should be fights and hence the sentence must read the Avengers formed a team that fights crime. Okay, so D is a problem zone here. Among Superman and Batman, Superman is immortal. Okay. Now, Superman and Batman, only two entities, as you know. Two entities, it's always between. More than two, it's among. So, here, A is the problem zone. It should actually be between. Okay? Now, look at 6. 
Carl L is of Krypton descent. Okay, so who is Carl L? Obviously, son of Krypton. Superman's Krypton name is that. Okay, now look at this word descent. D E C E N T. D I S S E N T. Now they can be confused. Here you actually mean descent and not this descent. Now, if you are of British descent, it means that you are genetically at least a little bit British. You have some British blood in you. This descent means criticism, scolding, scathing remarks, perhaps. Okay, so Carl L is of. Krypton, D E S C E N T. This descent and not the other one. Okay, so yes, it is indeed a well known fact that Superman is from another planet. So hence, Krypton descent.